Let's reconnect now with Dr. Waleed Ferris. Dr. Ferris, again, we thank you very much for your time and your insights. Uh, it was uh, last week when we sat down with another gentleman who studies this region, Professor Robert Rabiel of FAU. Uh, but I wanted to get your perspective on this very interesting angle to the story. Can, can the Kurds, in fact, use the idea of female fighters in their propaganda war against ISIS? They have been using it, actually, since they started to show pictures and videos about uh, female uh, Kurdish fighters. I have made many, many remarks here in Washington that this is a winning card, at least in the uh, strategic communications, they call it uh, propaganda war, uh, but it has its limitations in the sense that it's only in Kurdish areas that you can see this phenomenon. This specific organization, a Kurdish organization, which is more of a very secular organization is showing the, uh, the the women fighters and of course it wins but what you need to do is help the Kurds have a propaganda machine or an information machine radio stations TV station because what's happening right now is it's done on YouTube I'm not sure every jihadist fighting in Kobani is, is, is watching YouTube but this is a very good move that they have done the Kurds on the ground and I think the international community should really this is a heroic act by these brave women uh, fighting for all of us uh, against this uh, very dangerous enemy. Dr. Ferris, we're hearing reports that there are actually female groups that ISIS has put together that are actually helping them spread their message, these like female battalions. Do you know anything about that? Yes, there's this one female battalion, uh, Al Khamsa is the name. Uh, it's made of uh, those uh, pro jihadist uh, females indoctrinated. They use them mostly to guard uh, the women that they capture, the slaves that they made. Uh, they made during their campaign against the Yazidis, against the Christians, against other uh, moderates. And also they use them in propaganda the same way we're mentioning now. They put them on video, they put them on uh, you know, Facebook to recruit more females to tell them that, look, females also have a role in jihad. But everything we've discussed now is hinging on one thing, the initial indoctrination why these people are coming from the West, why these people are coming from other countries, it's because at one point there is an indoctrination that precedes radicalization, and that's the real international problem. Waleed, about two minutes remain. There's word that uh, ISIS may be spreading into Pakistan. Uh, is, is that something the Pakistan government is aware of and is trying to combat? Uh, not just the Pakistani government, all governments involved in, in this confrontation with the jihadists are very concerned. What, what is really happening, and it's not just Pakistan, let me put the big picture here. Around the world, over the past 10, 12, 13 years, since 9-11 uh, and before, you have an expansion of jihadist networks. Now, those jihadist networks used to support the Taliban, and then after that, Al-Qaeda. It's like a market, and they are now shifting to ISIS, so you have people, you know, declaring their allegiance to ISIS as far as Pakistan, you just mentioned that, but also in Nigeria and in Libya and even within the West. Why? Because success brings success. What Al-Qaeda was talking about, a caliphate, ISIS is actually doing, is actually showing. Entire cities under the flag of, uh, of the jihadists and then, of course, winning on the ground. So that successful win on the ground in Iraq and in Syria, basically, is allowing ISIS to recruit more and more, including in Pakistan, of course. So, uh, very concerning, Dr. Ferris, to hear about the continued march of ISIS and the modern caliphate extending possibly to Pakistan, to Afghanistan. You even mentioned nations in Africa. Dr. Waleed Ferris, as always, we appreciate your insights and analysis and to want to thank you very, very much for your time. Thank you so much. So Dr. Ferris paints a picture this morning, realistic, uh, but perhaps not optimistic, just what ISIS is up to. But what about the role of those female Kurdish soldiers in combating ISIS? You have some thoughts on that? Why don't you send us your comments at Newsmax TV? You can tweet them to us at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum, and we'll be right back.